Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my favorite set of helping hands and what I use is basically the same thing that machinists use to hold dial indicators and dial test indicators and what you can use them for is you can use them to hold an oscilloscope probe or multimeter probes or clamps or you know a lot of different um, attachments you can make to help make it easier for you to solder or troubleshoot a board or you know you just maybe you're just analyzing a board so these are great because there's one knob controls and tightens all of the joints so it's really easy to get the probe in place when you're, when you're happy with where it is you tighten it down and you can take your measurements and um, adjust things without having to tack a wire on a small chip and uh, another cool feature is that when they're tightened down all of these probes have uh, adjustment knobs so you can get it right on uh, a pin you know lift it up if, it, if it's not quite touching you can uh, adjust that so I like this so much more than the usual helping hands you know the flexible hose lines and other helping hands like that because you know you never quite get them exactly where you want them so this is a much more precise uh, way of you know holding your instruments um, it's for machinists so um, but there's there's no reason we can't use it for electronics and these usually have the ones I like have the magnetic bases so there's a, a heavy uh, there's a big magnet inside and you can just you know turn it on and lock it in place um, I, I like to put it on a, a plate here because um, you can just use like a steel plate or any ferrous plate because if you don't use it it doesn't really balance itself it's not the base isn't heavy enough to counterbalance the uh, the weight of the arm, so they really are meant to be used with some kind of uh, fair space. Here's here's a much larger one, but works just the same. It's actually a little smoother than that one. Uh, I just like the little one for the oscilloscope, but it doesn't really matter. You can use either one. Um, and what's cool is so here I just have these little locking clamps here but you can just loosen this up and you can change out put in whatever you want it has dovetails and a you know a clamp for holding onto these shafts here so you can pretty much get creative with you know what you want to put on it but I like using this one for splicing wires it's nice it holds the wires exactly where I want them I can you know get in and, and solder with them so so what I have here is just a little transmitter and receiver for a wireless charging application and you can see I have this clamp here holding the oscilloscope probe on the output of the uh, for the antenna and it's just really nice to have all of this when you're you know you're diving into a new module or a new circuit that you just kind of want to probe around with but uh, another cool thing I really like these stick vices if you haven't seen them but basically they uh, clamp onto boards you have a little v-groove there you know you clamp it up you tighten these and uh, it's nice because you can quickly um, insert and remove different boards once you have it lined up so if you have a lot of soldering to do um, if you have like a batch that you want to solder up these are pretty nice because you can just slap them in solder them up and uh, without having to do too much um, you know adjusting these will accept the same size over and over but yeah hey guys so i hope you liked that video and if you did please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing for more content like this see you guys later